Hi, my name is David. Today we're gonna to do number 1742, maximum number of balls in a box. This is an easy level problem on LeetCode and we're gonna solve it in JavaScript. So in this prompt, we have a function that takes in a low limit and a high limit, which are both integers. And between these integers is the amount of balls n from it, inclusive. So with this number of balls, it wants to put it in categories of the sum of each digit. So for example, and then it wants us to return the highest output of the sums that they have. For example, in this one, the low limit is one, high limit is 10. So these are the available box numbers. And then we have to add them up like each digit. One has, or one has count two because one has a ball count one and then also one plus zero is also one. And then two uh, has a count of one and we return two because the output is two, uh, two. So this is like a digit problem. When we see the digit, we gotta think, we have to do somewhere mod 10 divided by 10. And it's not very intuitive when you think of manipulating digits, but that's how you have to think of it. It might not come clear at first, but we'll practice, we'll get it. So to solve it first, we wanna create a map object to keep track of uh, uh, the keys and counts, the, the sums and how many times it appears. Okay map object. And then we're gonna use this to return the answer so we don't have to create a variable for that. So next we wanna fill it up. So we have to loop through low limit to high limit. And then similar to this, we're gonna use a helper function. Helper function to get some. And then we add this and help us, we need to get a sum because we have to do that mod 10 divided by 10 rule that I mentioned before. Add the sum and increment the count to map. So then our map objects are filled up. So now we can create a new, we can create array of values from map. And then we can get the find the return the max of the array. Great. And then for the helper function, we basically have to create a sum variable. And that's what we're looking for. And then we create a while loop. While loop for a num is greater than zero, the current number we're looking at, we will have to sum add num mod 10 to sum and then you divide num divided by 10 and then we return num so this is the process of getting the sum of each digit like getting uh one is zero for 10 example. If you wanna get the current sum of 10 to be one, what we need to do is while loop and then create a sum and then 10 mod 10 is zero. So it's still zero added, but then this number divided by 10 is one. And then one goes through the loop again. One mod 10 is one and one's added to the sum. So we return one there. Okay, so for the code that map equals object. Now we loop through All right, but let's create the helper function first and we can call it digit sum equal function that takes in a num. And inside of this, we create the sum that sum equals zero and a while loop num is greater than zero. We do sum plus equal num mod 10 and then num equals math dot four. So we have to round down so we can exit the loop eventually when it gets to zero. Num divide by 10. And then we return num. 
great. So then when we create the map, we have to loop through low limit, high limit for the i equals low limit i is less than or equal to high limit. And we're doing equal to equal to because it says inclusive and i plus plus. And inside of it, we can cre let's create a variable current sum equals digit sum passing i. So that is what we're passing to get the new sum. And then we have to create the condition, adding it to map. So map current sum equals, we can use this notation to initialize it. If it's not there, and set it equal to zero. And then we'll add one every time we see it, including the first time. So now we have the map object. So let's check it to make sure. Sorry, return sum. Great, yeah, so we create this map object, how we have, they have it here. So now we create all sum array, and that's gonna be from object dot value map. And we can see console log all sum and we should get an array sorry values of the, all the possible val values inside that map and then we just return math dot max inside of all sum Nice. We got it. So the time complexity. We know that we're looping through here. And then another constant loop. So it's going to be O of N. And then the space complexity. It's also going to be O of M because we're creating this map object and such so and constant variables. This is this this array is also proportional to how long this input is. So we're doing this other loop here for the time complexity, but we round down O of N. So that is how we solve this problem. Thank you.